London was hit by two shooting incidents in one day, one man's been stabbed in broad daylight and a drugs gang in Whitechapel has been jailed. Join me today for this week's London Chaos Report. <laughs> It really is no exaggeration to say that London is descending into chaos. Knife crime soaring, gun crime is reappearing after being a relatively rare form of crime for many years and people are less safe than ever on the streets of London. And I've noticed that people want to know about this stuff. People want to know what's happening in London. And I mean, th there's a story every single day. It's every single day you, you check the news, someone's been stabbed, someone's been murdered. It's, uh, it's saddening to see, but people need to know about this stuff. So I thought I'd do a weekly report, the London Chaos Report. And the reason I say it's no exaggeration is because London really has been plunged into chaos. Uh, in fact, there's terror attacks happening relatively frequently, and it's been a while since we've had one, at least a confirmed one. We don't know what happened with the most recent issue. Um, but terror attacks are being foiled by the intelligence services in London all the time. So let's keep an eye on this and uh, let's keep up to date and let's take a look at one of the most recent incidents which is what happened on Monday night, last night at the time of recording this because London was hit by two separate shootings. So first off, a firearm was discharged outside of a school in Westminster. The Express reported on this at the time and they said, Armed officers rushed to the scene around the Kennet West Skills Centre at 4.10pm with reports that terrified locals were forced to take cover when shots were fired. They cordoned off the area as they searched for the suspect with the help of a police helicopter. A spokesman for the Metropolitan Police told Express.co.uk that no arrests had so far been made. Nobody was injured in the incident, but officers had found evidence that a gun had been fired. And as the manhunt began for whoever was responsible for this started, three people were injured in a shooting on a high street in Brent. The Independent explained... Three people have been injured following a shooting on a busy high street in northwest London, police say. Metropolitan police officers were called to Kingsbury Road in Brent at around 9.45pm on Monday evening to reports of gunfire. At the scene, they found three injured people. All have been taken to hospital and none are believed to be in a life-threatening condition at this time. The incident is not thought to be terror-related. Officers from the Brent Borough have launched an investigation into the shooting alongside detectives from the Met's Trident Specialist Gang Crime Unit. Gang crime. This is gang crime, pure and simple. And where does gang crime happen? Well, it happens where there are gangs. And where are gangs? Well, they're in ghettos. They're in segregated neighbourhoods because people split themselves up based on ethnicity, based on uh, the areas where they grew up, based on where their gangs previously were from. So this is a gang crime ghetto and ethno-cultural ghettoization issue. Do you see the theme here? And by the way, over in beautifully vibrant and diverse Whitechapel, if you've ever been there recently, you know what I'm talking about. A drugs gang has just been sentenced to 49 years in prison. That's collectively following what the newspapers and police have said is an explosion in heroin and cocaine supply. By the way, I might add, recently when uh, Sadiq Khan talked about cocaine purchasing uh, from middle class people was actually fueling ga uh, the gang crisis. Now, I admit that it's not the core problem. I admit that the core problem is cultural, as I've been talking about in this show for a long time. But when Sadiq Khan says that the purchasing of drugs in London by middle class people, it, it is a part of the gang problem and I will give him what credit where credit is due. Um, so it's good to see that this uh, arrest, this jailing, this sentencing has happened. So the East London Advertiser talked about this case and they said, jailed Whitechapel drugs gang sentenced to 49 years in prison following explosion in heroin and cocaine supply. Judge Nigel Peters QC handed the men prison sentences ranging from two years to 56 months at Snaresbrook Crown Court for possession and supply of Class A drugs. In sentencing two of the 16, Judge Peters said, quote, People look out of their windows and see drug dealers going about their criminal evil work, oblivious to the residents and workers of the area. These are two of a large police operation to try and stem the awful explosion in the supply on the streets of Whitechapel of Class A drugs. It's time to stop pussyfooting around this issue, don't you think? It's time to stop hoping that it'll all just go away if people learn to live nicely with each other. I'm sorry, but there's an uncomfortable truth to accept here, and that's within some immigrant communities, some circles within some of these communities, 
just don't want to live peacefully with other people. They don't want to integrate and they blame poverty on their white oppressors. I'm sorry, but that's what happens. And that's indeed the case in many parts of London. Now, I want to see this tackled and I want to see the police fully funded and sent out onto the streets of London to arrest every single person involved in gang activity. And I want to see them breaking down the doors, by the way, of gang members. I want to see them breaking down doors of homes where they're growing drugs and supplying drugs. And I want them to lock up every single gang member that was born in the UK and to deport every single gang member who was not born in the UK. It's time we got tough. The police need the resources to perform more of these arrests because when they happen, they work. Now, when we see men shooting people on the streets and others being stabbed in broad daylight, which is what happened, by the way, uh, we'll get onto that story in a minute. But when people are being stabbed in broad daylight, when people are being shot in the streets, these gang members don't care about the people around them. It's like the judge says, people are going past completely oblivious. They don't care about the people around them. And if they get caught up on it, it's fine. And they're doing this because they know that the police aren't onto them. They know the police don't have the resources. The police aren't interested in dealing with issues like this because they're more interested in hate crimes these days. And so they're going about their business on the streets. This is the kind of thing that if it is happening, you would expect to be in dark alleys and behind the scenes, but it's happening on the streets and in broad daylight. So look at this story from the Express, because on Saturday night, a man was stabbed in front of a shopping center, uh, in front of a sort of high street area near the Upton Park underground station at lunchtime, at lunchtime. The Express said, paramedics flocked to the scene in Newham and took the victim to hospital. Police arrested a 16 year old male on suspicion of GBH. A Metropolitan Police spokeswoman said, quote, Police in Newham were called to Green Street E13 at 12.50pm on Saturday, 18th of August, following reports of a fight. Officers attended and found a man in his 20s suffering from a stab wound to the hand. He has been taken by London Ambulance Service to hospital for treatment. His injuries are not life-threatening. A 16-year-old male has been arrested on suspicion of GBH and taken to an East London police station for questioning. This doesn't have to be a symptom of the times. I don't like this, this argument that, well, it's 2018, what can you do? Uh, being in 2018 shouldn't mean that we have to accept things being different, uh, basic things even, like our streets being safe. This can be reversed, it can be solved, but our politicians need to have the political will to do something, which means we probably have to start telling them to do something. So join me on next week's London Chaos Report and hopefully I'll have some less depressing news for you, but don't count on it. Catch up with all the Rebel stories on our brand new app, which you can download now from the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store.